Hi, I'm Omar. And I'm Mia. And this is Hey! That's on Netflix Instant Watch. Where each week we tell you five things to watch on Netflix Instant Watch based on a viewer profile. This week we're doing something a little different because so many of our friends lately have been asking us and bugging us about how to start this show. So we're doing a Doctor Who special. <laughs> Now usually we recommend five different things to watch on Netflix and to watch, but this week we are going to recommend five different Doctor Who episodes to get either you or your friends into the show. Now you might be thinking, why not just start at episode one, season one? And if you can do that, fantastic. But most people have the following problems when they try to watch a show in order. <laughs> Number five on our list is The Empty Child. This is the one with the creepy little kids and the gas masks during World War II. It has Christopher Eccleston in it, who's the first actor of the new revived series that plays the Doctor. So it would be a good episode for people who kind of like want to stay in season one, start with that first actor, but just need maybe a little push. It does require a little bit more than average explanation for people jumping into the show, but it's very intriguing. Pretty creepy and pretty scary, and it got me into the show. You just see that little kid and you're like, all right. Number four is Love and Monsters. Now this is the episode where a guy and Moaning Myrtle form a team to track down the Doctor, but instead form a band. And also there's monsters. <laughs> now this is a great standalone episode for people who are kind of confused about the Doctor, because he's an alien, but he looks like a human, and he time travels. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's about side characters and their adventures within the Doctor Who universe. Now what's really, really cool about this episode is that the monster was designed by a nine-year-old for a Doctor Who monster design contest. And that kid's making so much money. Number three is Shakespeare Code. Shakespeare Code's the one where David Tennant's doctor and Martha go back in time and they meet Shakespeare and there's witches and stuff. If you like Buffy or you like sliders and you're not really afraid of that kind of campy factor, definitely watch Shakespeare Code because it's fun, it's swashbuckling, and it's just a little bit bisexual. Now I really wanted to recommend Girl in the Fireplace on this list because I love the episode. It's so sad and the villains are so intricate and interesting. But unfortunately that episode sometimes has the following results on people watching it for the first time. <laughs> Number two is Eleventh Hour. Now Eleventh Hour is Matt Smith's first episode. Matt Smith, of course, is the actor playing the current Doctor. It's always a good idea to start with an actor's first episode because they re-explain the rules and also you form a very close relationship with that Doctor, making him, or hopefully her in the future, your Doctor. Eleventh Hour is great for people who require a higher budget for their sci-fi television. Also, you get to see the first time that Matt Smith says bow ties are cool. And number one on our list is Blink. Blink is the one with the scary statues. I don't think I could say anything more about it without just explaining the whole episode. <laughs> what type of people should watch this episode to get into Doctor Who? All types of people. This is the perfect episode to get you or your friends excited about the show. And they do really cool, like, clever time travel stuff where they like, interact with the same timeline. It's like the best part of time travel. Now this is the most Doctor Who-y of Doctor Who episodes because it's about a low budget concept that is extremely, extremely frightening. These guys are so scary that no matter how old you are, how brave you are, you'll be hiding behind your couch and this episode will last with you long after you watch it. Hi, yeah, I was calling in regard to the apartment listing on Craigslist. Uh, yeah, I wanted to know how many mirrors are in the apartment, because I want to keep an eye on all the statues. <laughs> Hello? If you already have watched Doctor Who and you're a big fan, help us out and help others out trying to get into it by leaving in the comments below what you started with, what you recommend to start with, and if you want to start a flame war, tell us who your favorite companion is. Alright, I hope this helps you and your friends get into Doctor Who. There's a lot of stuff, so remember, don't blink. Good luck.